Hello everyone, I am so much welcome to today's tutorial and I am Odu Role Mojibola and today we are going to be creating this beautiful tongue with a, a tongue sander with a double buckle you can see it has a double it's quite a beautiful sander and i'm sure you'll be wondering how were they able to create this and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing us how to simply do this with the available patterns we have sit back and i'll be right back yes today we are going to be making use of these two pattern for our tutorial now i'm sure you will be wondering okay now that she's bringing this how do we do this now i've taught us how to create this particular kind of back pattern and i will put the the video at the end of this particular video you will be able to click it on the screen and watch now what happened in that particular video is that what happened there is that i created for children in that particular video so i'm going to quickly tell us now what to use for an adult size so if you are creating this particular back pattern because we are going to be really making use of this back pattern for that design just for it to be simple and easy for us to create so you are going to make sure that when you are trying to, to to the length in that particular tutorial for children the this particular width here was 6.5 centimeters so for an adult you are going to be making use of a 8.5 centimeter and this particular height for that children's size was five centimeter but you are going to be using about nine centimeter or ten centimeter for this adult home yes about nine or 10 centimeters should be okay for adults and every other thing you can still keep them intact so that is that on this particular back pattern i think another thing is this particular side for that children's size was about one centimeter or two centimeters so for an adult we advise that you use about three centimeter or 3.5 centimeter at the end of this video you are going to actually see that particular video tutorial so just click on this or uh, click on it and go ahead and watch to see the details so that is that on that and for this particular one this particular one is actually um the the a, 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 a sander there's a particular slide that i've already created i i there was a free pdf pattern on it as you can see in the screen this particular free pdf pattern i'm sure you should have it if you have been following my tutorial and if you not been following i will try to put it in the comment section so that you can print and use and for those who already have my ebook you don't have anything to worry about you have all of this right in the ebook so you don't have anything to worry about so if you are just in my channel for the first time please ensure that you press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified now let's go right into today's class so now we are going to be starting with this particular one this is what we are going to be starting with now for this particular for this particular back pattern it's more of an ankle back pattern or this ankle strap back pattern where you have your buckle right here and you have your strap going all around you can see this strap is not a very long one you can decide to attach more i mean you can make it longer than this as you so desire so now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be drawing this out right away I need you to follow me gently to be able to get what I'm going to be doing. It's quite easy, but just follow me. I'm going to be drawing it now. Now, as you can see, I'm already through with the back, the ankle, you know, the back pattern. I've already drawn it. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using my measuring tape to measure the next the the i'm going to be measuring the next side because you know it's actually a double buckle tongue sander so i'm going to be placing my measuring tape right here i need us to see this so let me see what i can do about that good so i'm going to be placing it this way you can see what i have so from here to here i have one centimeter so i'm going to be marking this half now what do i do next i'm going to place this here because i need to create the next one so don't forget it has to be here. i'm going to position it in such a way that 
it's aligning you can see this line so make sure that it's one way or the other aligns with that line one way or the other so you can see i think i have a perfect fit like that and this is where you can see where my one centimeter is i'm going to draw this and i'm going to oh sorry i hope you can, let me try to adjust my hand so that we can see what i'm doing so i'm going to go this way to and do the same thing now don't forget this is the strap part so we can decide to extend don't forget this can be extended it has to be longer than this so you may have to attach more you know you, can, you may have to attach on that side have to attach so let us go ensure that it goes in the same direction that is quite important so that you have a very good shape at the end of the day let us to see it i'm taking my time just for us to understand i'm so sorry please just bear with me now you can see what i have now considering this side is supposed to be curved it's not supposed to be like this so you can decide to just make it curve or you get a curve object to do that so now you can see what i have now so considering our design, I think for this particular strap, we are already okay on that side for the strap side. Now let's go to the side where we have the buckle. The same thing we did on this side is the same thing we are going to be doing here. And we are going to still be measuring our one centimeter. Of course, you can decide to extend this a little bit more. If you so desire, you can extend it. Don't forget that extending it shouldn't be any problem. You see, you can extend yeah so this particular one now i'm going to also measure my one centimeter as well i'm going to measure my one centimeter ensure that uh -huh, you can touch the side so i'm going to align it just like i align the other one gently gently just align it ensure that at least it's on it uh -huh, just this particular side at least you can see it and make sure that this is here then you can go ahead and then um, create the side. So this is going to represent the second, the second buckle. So now you can, as I said earlier, you can get anything to create your curve. I decide to use this button. You can get a smaller button. All you need is just a curve shape at the side. So you can see that it's giving me a very perfect shape there. So all I'm going to do is just try to try to make it look more perfect so we just need something like that on that side so with this now you'll find out that we have already our buckle we have already this particular side what we are left with is just the the strap the strap that is going to be that is actually making our our sander tongue yeah this is so this is for our buckle this is for our second buckle and we have our straps here please this might be small you might have I need to add more so but let's just leave this this we had to join two different you know plain sheets together to achieve this particular one so what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to be making use of this to create my nest my nest m shape so for the next design here which is at the tongue part of the pattern we are going to place this this way please ensure you place it right at this corner this time around place it here measure one centimeter as usual don't forget the other ones we were measuring this way for this particular one you are going to be measuring this way because there is a shape it has to have so we are going to pick up our pattern you can see what we have here i'm going to place it right here i want it to be a little bit tilt this way you can see the way it looks like so i'm going to just now if you feel that this is too wide you can reduce it although i have already reduced mine you can see i've reduced it a little bit with this one but i'm still going to use it anyway so that at least when i'm finally through you can see what i have 
So now before you do yours, you might want to cut all of this. You might want to cut some out, probably cut this side out and place it on last on your last to be sure of the placement of this you can decide to do that and if you don't want to do that you can still decide to just make sure that you just position it and tilt it a little bit this way so that by the time it goes it's going to perfectly fit your design is going to be perfect fit for our double buckle tongue is sender so you can see what i have this way so i'm just going to go ahead now and try to see how now for this particular side what we are going to be doing for this particular side is we are also going to be creating the same curve we are going to be creating the same curve don't forget the curve is still there so this time around this time around it's a bit different it's a bit different because this has to go in more so i'm going to try to make it go in a little bit then join it with this so it should go in a little bit more just for the shape to be perfect so let me quickly trim this out and show us how it looks like now as you can see our beautiful pattern I decide not to do anything to this side because I really wanted us to see this. Now, the first thing I'm going to be doing now is I am going to try to place it. Don't forget, is a tongue double buckled female sander we are creating here, sander pattern. And then, if you look at this, you find out that can you see? Can you see the way it's going? This is really beautiful. Now, if you look at this, you find that, that I told us earlier that this seems wider than what we have in our thumbnail. So we can decide to reduce it if we so desire and we can just leave it first, then cut out and see how it looks like. If you would like to first of all place your own and I mean, try to use paper tape on it just to be sure yes just to be sure but trust me <laughs> it will work if, it, if, I, if i haven't checked it i won't come now i won't come here to teach us about it so you can see what i have so let me just go ahead if you want to try to place yours and be sure it will enter you can do that just try to do the paper grid method i've taught us severally just place it on it just to be sure and then the back is already perfectly i'm just loving the sander when i saw it i just told myself i said come on my youtube students you see this also so if you are just watching my channel for the first time ensure that you press the subscribe button and also the notification bell that will help you to know each time i upload a video and you won't be missing anything and as for the ebook in case you're interested it's still five thousand naira and oh, and it's also the equivalent of about thirteen dollars that is what the price is for my ebook so many have asked me is it negotiable come on there is a lot inside that particular ebook and that's why i'm trying as much as possible to make us see that pattern cutting is not complicated when you have the basic one you can use it to recreate other ones that you need which is the essence of having that ebook especially if you are a beginner and you are having issues with pattern cutting all you need to do is follow me in the class each time i give an a, a, a instruction just follow try it and see what will happen so let's go and get and trace this out and then i'll go back to us yes now i totally forgot to show us this while i was cutting now before now i want us to see this as i've not cut it just like i showed us i just trimmed this upper part of the design piece i want us to see that you can see what i have i've already cut but i want to really let us see this so that when you want to cut yours you can also do the same thing now you can see let's say it's together this way so what i did is i decided of course this is the lower part of the pattern the ankle back pattern i decided to extend it by about one inch which is about 2.5 centimeter then 
I didn't follow exactly that line. I did not follow exactly that line because if you look at our 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 our, our design, which is the tongi double buckle female sandal, you find out that it has some space here that entered into under the insole. So I had to do this. So I extended it, then go ahead and let it meet it around here. So I'm going to try to measure what the distance is so that we know when to close it in. I've been using centimeters, so it's better I go along with centimeters. So at about 10, so try to measure from this side, measure downward to about 10. So that when you are when you are cutting, when you want to cut after your 2.5 extension here, just go ahead. Make sure that you have enough um sheet here to, to do that for you. So just let it go straight, then at point 10 centimeter you can then return back to the shape to what we drew initially so this is what i mean you can see what i have here so measure like from this particular side from where it's touching the back ankle strap back pattern let it be about 10 centimeter then you just cuff it and let it return to the initial shape so let's quickly see how it looks like i really 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 want us to work on this please if you are having any challenge or you there is a particular pattern you want me to work on you can just send them to me and i will try as much as possible to work on them for us to see now i need you to see what this look like don't forget it's a tongue sander i'm sure some of us don't know what i mean by tongue sander any sander that's going to be entering in between the big toe and the small toe is what we call the tongue sander so you can see what we have now this definitely i have to extend this a little bit more you can see we have achieved what we needed here we have achieved this this is looking so lovely i'm sure the only thing that can happen is that by the time you are true you must have used a lot of space because you have to place it wide open this way to enjoy this particular design and if you want to decide to divide it at the back you can divide it here yes when you are finally true put them together this way and then divide it so when you do the division you cut this side separately you cut this side separately then you join them together here don't forget to add about 0.5 extra which is what you are going to be joining together here then when you want to finally line it you line all together that will make it look perfectly and beautiful i want to believe you've enjoyed today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and press the notification bell i need really really need to hear from you then if you are interested in my ebook just go ahead and let me know in the comments Comment section i will send you the link all you need to do is just pay using the link you can paste through so many methods and if it's, you will prefer to pay into my account number you can decide to send me a dm on facebook or on instagram at gbfm40 please ensure that you follow me on facebook or instagram just to get your up up updated on my discounts and other promotions available part time thank you so much for being part of this today today's tutorial and don't forget i'm always having a two minute talk on thursday don't miss it for anything i want to be exposing us to how to maximize profit don't just go into shoemaking think maximizing think expansion think being global think not being limited and that is the focus of that particular thursday two minutes talk thank you for watching today's tutorial i'm gonna see you next time bye